Hello, this is 100% improvisation number 12. So here I'm gonna show you, uh, probably for the last time, because as you know, you've done one already, which is dancing with the music CDs that I made up uh, just for this purpose. And I wanna show you for the last time um, how to do, for example, a step and a voleo within time. And what are your options? What you should be looking for uh, uh, to do it comfortable and reflexive. So, uh, let's take, for example, just to make it easier for everyone, um, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, let's say front cross and front boleo. Now because we are looking uh, and we are dancing within time from one to four, you don't have to perform anything. You get it? The only important thing will be number five is the step, in this case front cross, and number six is the front boleo, okay? So, Let's say that you put the music uh, of the link that is on, on the page and you're gonna hear the music and let's say we're dancing uh, within that music. You're gonna hear my voice saying, <coughs> I want it from cross, from boleo. So if I were, you know, uh, more a beginner, I won't even be moving, but so you hear my voice saying, one, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo. And then you are free. You are gonna hear my voice and the CD saying, now I want another front cross with another front boleo. So it is, one, two, three, four front cross, front boleo. Yeah, that's it. It's this simple. So, if you already have experience dan dancing, well, show it. So let's say this is the time, yeah? So start to dance. Do your own thing, right? So you hear my voice and saying one, two, three, four, front cross, front boleo. Pa, pa. And you hear my voice saying one, two, three, four, front cross, front boleo. Pa, wa. And you're gonna hear my voice one, two, three, four, front cross, front boleo. Yeah, I'm getting carried away a little bit, but. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> if you can dance from one to four and even before, go for it. <clears throat> what I want you to do is, you have to successfully do number five, front cross, and number six, a front boleo. How do you know you're being successful? Well, if you get carried away and you start to dance, right? And then you, do, you don't get it the first one, and then uh, you keep dancing and then you don't get the second one, well, that's not successful. You know? So you need to bring down your dance because the most important thing for this exercise and for your improvisational skills. Also, by the way, followers should be paying a lot of attention to what's going on and helping into what's going on and doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, <clears throat> is number five and number six. The rest of it is completely, completely unimportant. It has no value. You understand? What we are looking is for just two simple movements, but for the first time, 
something outside of you is asking you where that has to happen. Do you understand? And that's a very, very important thing. Uh, because improvisation, the last stand of improvisation is when you are listening to music and the music itself is going to start to be asking you for things and for elements and for phrases and for feelings and, uh, and things like that. So this is the way we're targeting to dance. Uh, so let me show you, for example, uh, one, two, three, four, an open step, back boleo, yeah? So this is the time. Okay, you're gonna hear my voice on the CD. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, open step, back boleo. That's perfect. If you are more a beginner, that's okay. If you are more a beginner, wait on one leg. One, two, three, four, open step, back boleo. And this is perfect. Do you understand? This is how it's supposed to be uh, done. Why? Because the most important thing is those two elements and now the whole value is within time. So keep the frame happy, cool, relaxed, comfortable. See you in the next class.